right, folks. We've got a real interesting group up next. Now, these folks are calling themselves the Maudlin Strangers. Now, with a name like that, you're probably not expecting upbeat, toe-tapping tunes, and you'd be right. In fact, I find these guys about as cheerful as life in an iron lung. <laughs> in fact, it's the kind of music that makes you question, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> it's so moody, it makes you want black coffee and cigarettes for dinner. It's perfect if you're in the mood to brood. And let's face it, folks, who isn't these days? So please, put your grubby little hands together and let's welcome the haunting, the mysterious, Maudlin Stranger. Always staring back at you on TV. 
skin. <laughs> well, that was some performance. I don't want to say it was depressing, but about halfway through, I felt this strong urge to finalize my will. <laughs> now that lead singer, wow, he had the charisma of a wet sandwich. <laughs> and the drummer, he was beating those drums to death. Why, it was almost as if he thought those drums knew the whereabouts of his missing wife. <laughs> and the guitar. Now, I don't want to say he's tone deaf, but I don't think P or U is actually a note. <laughs> but hey, it's rock and roll. It's supposed to be wild and unpredictable. You know, kind of like my prostate. <laughs> so let's give them a big hand for making us all appreciate silence just a little bit more. <laughs>